Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, where we try to increase our influence and, uh, you know, ultimately get the strongest army in the whole universe. Uh, Calradia. Calradia is the landscape that we are on right now. I want to go for the hideout, I want to see if I can do it, actually. And then there's also uh, Aetherbrook. Why is Aetherbrook marked? Is that is that why, where the, the bounty hunters went? Seems like it. All right, guys, we're gonna start with that. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and try to get the hideout done. Let's see. It's a bit risky, I gotta say, but hey, let's check it out. There are lots of mountain bandits in here, as you can see. Um, but maybe, just maybe, we can overpower them with all of the men that we have. Yes, one guy already. The throwing weapons are a bit of an issue. Oh, they have two men there. All right, dealt some damage. Try to dodge the, um, the javelins. Got one down. Ow, that hurt a lot. This is why I'm so afraid of these, these throwing weapons. This is just so amazing. Guys, um, follow me. Follow me, my infantrymen. Anyway, two of them down. That's really, really handy. Uh, we could take their, their loot right now, their weapons, but I think I'm just gonna stick to what I have. Um, yeah, my idea here is to just quickly kill them at range and then send my men in later in the hopes That they can do it See there's the next. Oh, yeah, there is the next group of bandits. We have like three four of them at the same time It's like Five? Oh crap. That's not gonna be easy guys Send them in send them in right now I'm gonna try to uh, pepper them with some of these arrows while they are doing it. I also need to make sure that my men are not dying. Holy crap, that's literally everybody. Come on, some fire support from the outskirts. Of course, the shields are a problem. As long as we keep them staggered, it's fine, though. Good, got him. That was that was great. That was really, really good. Uh, getting my men back to me. All of them are wounded already, which is not great, but okay. I think we can do it, though. We are a little bit outnumbered in this one, but we have the best man available with the best leader available. <clears throat> Two more arrows. Let's make them count. That was nothing. Was the last arrow? All right. Here we go. Shields up, guys. Oh, wait, there's a guy. So, I'm gonna send my man. Problem is, I only have my spear. And that spear is a little bit bad in close quarter combat. Arr. Don't die, people. Okay, got him. Shield up. Right, one more. One more, dude, and we got this. Actually, stay close, guys. Stay close. I'm gonna take the hit for you, if needed. I'm gonna just bring my shield up. Look at that, there's a spear, a javelin in my shield. It's just sticking in there. Uh, seems that the last guy is sitting at the campfire. At the very, very end. Oh, by the way, I need to actually uh, train my, my own endurance. Because otherwise I'd be so slow all the time. In order to train that, you just get, a, get off your horse while traveling over the, um, the, the, the world map. That's a way to really train that. So here we go. Attack! Come on. He's getting up very slowly. Good job, guys. There's still one more. Don't you dare hitting my friends. Got him. So, now the leader comes. Oh, Can we do it? I think we can. So, he's gonna ask me to actually duel him. And I'm, I'm very low at health. So, I'm not gonna go for a duel on him. However, we have enough people here that can find him. So we don't fight duels with brigands. We're gonna go all in. Good. Bandit boss down. Orca. Got him. Got him. Ah. This guy is sturdy. Ooh. I hope that my people just got wounded and... Nobody died, but we won the battle and it should give us a good amount of renown as well as influence and morale Actually veteran archer legendary gallant crossbowman and recruit all of them dead. Oh man Salea survived and one legendary also got only injured. I think I'll take it though 
it came with a cost. And they also had some peasants as prisoners, but it's fine. Absolutely fine. We get a charger that's a war horse. Hell yeah. And look at all these stuff. By the way, I should really get better weapons for my for my city outfit. Give me that arm wrap. Give me the boots. No, the boots are fine. Buttoned leather braces. Okay, cool. So that's important in order I'm gonna fight in the city or something. So I'll try to max that out as well. Also these caps. <laughs> They're funny as hell. Uh, let's go back to the normal outfit. Let's check out if there's something like really valuable here. 16 head armor, but I think we have better stuff thanks to our tournament wins. That's a nice battle axe though. One-handed axe, swing speed is 95, good damage, length is okay. Actually, maybe I want that on my on my outfit, or I give it to her. He'll take that. You have a battle axe. No, you have a spear. That is how we do it. The spear, the falchion, also another kite shield. It's my shield right now. The round shield? It's a weapon tier 4. So it's probably better than that thing here. It has more health, more speed. Uh, it doesn't cover that much though. I mean, kite shields are obviously bigger. At the same time, I just want the better weapon. Alright, let's do it like that. And then we're gonna take everything. A bit of dates, olives, fish, grain. Pretty good. That hideout? Yeah, great. Oh, these were the brigands. Ah, oh, that was the quest that I got. Ha ha! Also, plus two influence with the nearby notables. Oh, that's so good. That's a good start for the video, I would say. We also have 2,000 gold. Hell yeah. All right, let's go back to the city because I want to trade in my stuff that I don't want. Let's not get slowed down. Also want to keep that charger. Uh, so, what about you? Do we take the axe? 100 axe. One-handed axe, not 100 axe. Uh, swing damage is 73. It's way better than the Falchion. Alright. Have an axe. And then arrows. We also have another stack of barbed arrows. No, it's fine. I keep the barbed arrows though. And... I think everything else except for the food I'm gonna just sell. So, give me a sec. Oh my god. Can I please reset that? I think I accidentally... Did I do something? I don't know. No, it's fine. So, at this point, um, at this point, we're gonna keep the horses. We're gonna sell all of this trash. Kind of, yeah. I also get rid of the shoes now. I'm holding these, these items here mainly because I want one of my, one of my associates that I'm maybe gonna pick up to have good outfit early on. But I think I can just get rid of it and get the money and then we're gonna reinvest the money to get more money and then we're gonna spiral out of hand because that's how you build an empire. All right, 2,300 gold. Hell yeah! Uh, the barbed arrows I'm gonna keep. Sell the shields. Let's sell everything else here as well. Boom, 3,000. Pretty good. So, who is here? Should have taken a look at that first. This guy is amazing with two-handed and polearm. <laughs> I kinda want him in my company. Yeah, this guy's mediocre. Yeah, should have taken a look at that first. It's not a big deal. We're gonna we're gonna get this done. So right to business. I can use someone like you. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. He's also pretty good with riding. And we should take a look at our prisoners because they also give us good chunks of money back. First of all, upgrade these knights though. <laughs> we don't have the war horse. I mean highwaymen are pretty good. I wanna see if I can hire them later. So we keep them as prisoners. We're not ransoming then. Um, yeah, as I was saying, my inventory is now empty. But we can give him a horse. And we're gonna give him a desert horse because it's a good horse. And we're gonna give him barbed arrows. He has no bow yet, but it'll change later. And then he's gonna be really good. Alrighty. Yo, uh, that being said, next big goal. We need to stock up on recruits again in order to train them. We are missing a bunch of people here. However, we can just leave it at that, honestly. Uh, because it'll make us faster on the map. So it's easier to hunt down the looters. And we'll get more renown if we hunt down the looters like that. Because we are not that uh, much um, overpowering them anymore. So let's do it like that. 
Footman, onward! Bowman, forward! Yeah, it looks like a very healthy mix of footmen, bowmen, and cavalry right now. And I like, look at the horse armor. Like it, we have so many knights already. It's like three. <laughs> but still, it's a lot. I also need to heal a bit. Didn't hit. 83 damage? Wow, where are these the barbed arrows? That's amazing. 46. Okay, that was just enough to kill here. 45. Maybe I was moving a bit forward and that gave us a bit of horse speed. Yeah, all of them dead. Good job, guys. Hell yeah, we won the battle. We get a bit of renown, morale as well as influence. And that also translates into money later on. Oh yeah, and here we go. Is there anything you want from this? Nothing. Actually, you have decent armor already. Sure, why not? All right. I'd say we're gonna check out the surrounding villages here. Ooh, there's another hideout that just built itself. I'll take it. I'll 100% take it. Now, yeah, we will go in with only 50% of our health, but they only have seven people. And these seven people are hopefully easy to kill. And yeah, I'm gonna just send my people in. Let's not give them any time to actually get strong because that'll only result in getting a lot of damage on my side. Is that a, is that a person there? No, it doesn't seem like it. Maybe he is. No, 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 no. So I'm, I'm slower than my people. That's a bit of a problem. Um, still, again, endurance, 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 endurance. If you want to be good on foot, you have to train that. So I think the next big thing that I'm going to do is I will actually leave my horse and step off of it. And uh, then we're going to roam around the map only on foot. It'll slow us only down a little bit because these horses um, that we have in our, in our inventory right now, they will be used by our footmen anyway. So I'm just one of 50 that is moving on foot then. As soon as we have enough horses, of course. Guys, you're splitting up too much. That's not great. I just hope that they get the things done. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one of them there. Ah, I see. So they had one regular troop here. And then, of course, the five of them that are now attacking us. Yeah, surrender or die, buddy. We don't fight duels with brigands. All right. I go for these guys. Keep him staggered by just attacking them. That'll reduce the chance of actually getting hit in return. Easy! You won the battle. Nice. Renown influence as well as a skill point up. And we'll take these guys as prisoners as well. And... Ooh. No, that is fine. You get a javelin. You get a shield. Get... Get another war horse. And shoulder fur. Nine armor. I'm gonna prioritize that on my character though. Beautiful. That looks amazing. And I'll put the scarf on you. And then we're gonna take everything else and we have a good time. So, Mr. Ratagost, Coalbiter, actually has some serious armor now. Why is he all of a sudden? Why, why is he not red anymore? Ah! Huh. Uh, that's probably because we were in the loot screen and not in our party screen, right? Yeah, here the people are actually in our faction color. Alright! Nice hideout! And it should also have given us a bit of uh, reputation with the notables here around. Let's take a look at the troops available. Family feud? Sure, let's do that, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, resolve that issue. I mean, we are pretty good with talking. I could have also given it into the hands of one of my associates. Interesting. Alright, so we're gonna talk to Isilcred. Man, these names are so funny. I, I wonder if they are kind of historical or if they're just fantasy names that the developers developers made up themselves. Could be. Could both be. Isilcred. Isilcred. Hey, buddy. I mean, ultimately, our, um, our dude that we just picked up, he needs a two-handed weapon. 
because that's what he is good with. By the way, for all of you who don't know, two-handed weapons have the cleave ability. You can actually, if you hit it correctly, you can cleave through uh, two or three or multiple enemies at once. The other weapons cannot do that. So keep an eye out for that. Alrighty, so do we want to buy product here? No, everything is pretty expensive. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go to... Let me see. Family Feud. Darbrod of Cornad. Where's Cornad? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Okay. I didn't see the white dot earlier. Huh. Maybe there wasn't one. There's Darbrod. He also has a Family Feud quest for us. So it's kind of oh, going in circles here. <laughs> So, let's go. Breaking the law. I'm gonna... Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Now we need a crit. Come on. That's a success at the very least. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. This is ineffective. Okay, so we're gonna fight here. Can we get him? Stop it. Stop it. All right. Quest failed, family feud. Oh my god, they obliterated us! Ooh. Okay, we get a skill point in medicine because of that, but holy crap! I was hoping for something better. Alright, let's talk to Darbrad again because he also gives us the family feud quest. I don't want to leave here. That was uh, my bad. Wrong button. Mmm, not good. Alright, where is the where's the guy? There he is, Lamp card. 127. So yeah, guys, are you playing this, by the way, as well? Leave a comment down below, because I want to know the people who are watching this. If they are, you know, playing it, looking for advice, looking for other people playing it in a different way than they do. Or if you're just watching, because, you know, you just like people playing video games. Uh, it would be very much appreciated. Leave a comment down below in the, des uh, not description, but in the comment section. So, let's try this again. So, Lamcar joined my party. Where do we have to go? I understand. Yeah, that's a big feud going on. Question is, who do I have to talk to? Family feud. Folk. Hey, Folk. Let's talk. See what we can discuss here. Hopefully we can discuss this. Uh, you're breaking the law. That's ineffective. Oh my god, that's, that's really bad. That's also ineffective. We have to get a crit now. We didn't get the crit. Okay, so we have to fight. Don't kill the little one! Uh, actually, let's shoot the bow. Falk, stop it! <sighs> Alright, I think our kind of charming skill needs a bit of an update, right? Because this is not how it's working for us. We're actually making negative reputation here. Oh man, that was really unfortunate. Alright, anyway. I would say we have to gather some more men. In order to get that, let's let's just check out the nearby villages. That's good. It's a gallant, that's a squire. I think I'll also take the footman. Sure, let's go. Some tier two troops, that's okay. Ooh, and then there are some looters around. I think I know what we're gonna be doing now. I'm not gonna take recruits. I think I'll just all only settle with high tier troops. And we gain the level. All right. So, first things first, though. We have to keep doing what we are doing, which is getting Renown. And I want to get to clan level three. Actually, no, it's two. Very quickly. Warriors, move out! Hearts, move! Warriors, get moving! All right. Man, this cavalry is going to obliterate them. But you know what? I'm going to let them come closer so that my troops can train a bit. Softening them up. Attack! And now we're gonna send in the cavalry. Everybody else is just throwing some more bolts and missiles. I don't even see anybody. <laughs> Get down, Mr. Looter. I need to train my pole arm on you. Man, a longer pole arm would be so good. See, because of that. And I think we got everybody now. No, wait. One person is still running. There? Oh no, we lost the we lost the man! Man down! Saleya the Wanderer! 
Uh oh. Yeah, she just got downed in the last encounter with the with the village people there. Uh huh. Crossbow man. Let's go. Harden crossbow man. Do we have a war horse right now? Uh, okay, let's upgrade them. Oh, forest bandits. That's cool. These guys are real good archers. All right. What do we get? Arm um, reps for our friend. Doesn't have them yet. And of course, the better shoes. And the gambeson that is not that great. No, and um, some fish and meat. Good lootified, I would say. Good lootified. Um, I would say the next big thing would be another tournament, maybe. Ha. Huh. Who is still in our uh, in our party? Let me see. Currently, we have Trenton, Salea, as well as Ratagost. Actually, let's put them up here. Let's sort our people a little bit. Okay, so our criminal is not here, so I'm not really good at helping out with the fencing the goods. I want to send a party member to that, so that I am, you know, not accused of fencing some stolen goods here. I'm not dealing with contraband. No, 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 no. It was the other guy. Maybe he's following me, but hey, I can't deny that. Uh, instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to recruit another troop. Fine. And I want to actually take part in the next tournament. Yeah. As soon as we get to 1500 gold, we can actually build a caravan. And there's going to be so much money over the course of that. So this is where I need to go. This is where I need to get. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we wait here for some time. Because obviously, I'm at zero hit points right now. And I want to get to full capacity. Also, staying in the town and healing gives us medicine skill. So it's also a way to quickly upgrade your stuff. By the way, is there a tournament? There is no tournament. Huh. How long does that take? Three days. Ugh, three days until we get our our companion back. And then we can send her over here to sour wine. I don't want to stay three days here. No, this is uh, three wasted days. That'll cost us money and a lot of it. Family feud, of course. Bandit base. Let's talk. Let's talk about the bandit base. That seems interesting. So, you need to deal with the bandits. A companion and ten good men? Or possible. The tactic skill is too low. Ah, that's why. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna deal with the hideout myself then. I'll take that. And there are some looters nearby that we can also destroy, so let's do that. Alrighty. There's the hideout. Oh, the thing is... I wanted to drop my, my horse. And we're gonna try to fight them on foot, because I need to upgrade that endurance. So, surrender or die, that's 17 people. I think we're gonna play not tactically, but on the map itself. And yeah, I know, I am on foot now, I'm missing my horse at the same time. We have all the arrows and the uh, crossbows in the world. So let's Spread out. do a loose Head formation here. Arms length apart. All right, arms length apart. Build a firing line. I'm gonna help with that, and I would say we're gonna send in the horses when we can. Footmen, hear me! Move out! Move! Give them hell! So, sending the charge order to the horses now. God, this bow is bad. I actually have to really play it ballistically here. Uh huh. Also, let's not hit our own friends. There is friendly fire with missiles and projectiles. However, uh, you can't just punch into melee without a problem. See? He's immune to my poker. I cannot get hit by that. However... That'll hurt. So, point, pro point proven. <laughs> Sorry, people. <laughs> you had to be my guinea pigs. Cool. So, no looters as, um, as the uh, captives here. Can upgrade another knight. Oh my god, I love it. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's just looter, tier, trash. And we're just gonna instantly go to the hideout. After we got these looters. Come on, stay here. Who are you? Sea Raiders. Okay. They didn't see it coming. The problem with the Sea Raiders is, of course, that... Ooh. They also join ranks with the brigands. I want my horse back. Give me my 
Desert Horse. And give me my... Arnus. Alright, and now we're gonna attack. I think we have to actually distract them big time. Bowman, they're moving! Loose formation! Put them there! Loose formation! Loose formation? I don't say that you should lose your formation. I am just saying that you should, you know, set up a loose formation. Right. I'll deal with him real quick. Okay. I went down. I really hope that my bows are already firing. And they are. Warriors! So these are my... My horse ass. Move! Attack! Okay, I'll give the charge order now. In the meantime, my horse is getting beat up. These javelins are so scary. So I just tried to lure the javs out of them. Okay. Ah, this does nothing. Uh, trying to lure the javs out of them so that they don't have them anymore. And now I'm gonna send a charge order. 84 damage. And this battle is getting bigger here. Oh, nice hit. I cannot say the same for this year. <laughs> Longer lance. They have pretty long lances, though. Maybe we can actually steal them? I mean, loot them from them? I mean, the good news is, nobody died on my side. Alright, fine. God, that's embarrassing. We won! Alright. We got Polar plus one, Tactics plus one. That worked quite well here. Yeah, I want these guys. They are actually quite good replacement fighters. So, Short Sword, Falchion, Western Infantry Axe, Northern Short Simple Spear has a way higher length. I'll take it. That's gonna be so helpful, guys. Seriously. Oh, Fur Armor. That is a bit better than what we have here. All right. I mean, it is a bit better, but it gives us more body armor. We are losing a bit of leg armor, one point, but two more body armor is, I think, worth it. Also, it looks pretty cool. And he is fine where he is right now. All right, so we got a better spear now. Let's see where this is going. Um, there were looters around that we actually fall at the same time, so no big deal here. Yeah, let's try the hideout. Let's see how many people they actually have there. And in the meantime... There's some more mountain bandits that we can try to harass. Let's do it. Alright, you're running up top. Don't hide in the hideout. There's another hideout here. It's just a lot of people and these guys are sea raiders. Who? Can we deal with the mountain bandits? Probably. Probably. Let's first level up our character. There's one more focus point. And we get to choose from tactics here. Cavalry attacks cost 10% more morale loss. Super good. Especially against these brigands. Tactics. Shall we go for tactics? Infantrymen deal 50% more damage to cavalry and simulations. That's the thing. Simulations are gonna be a main part of the late game. Because you don't have time to actually go for every single fight anymore. Kind of want to get there. Your skill and logistics increase the amount of ammo your ranged troops have in combat by 20%. That's also handy. Allows you to place your troops before all battles. I kind of like tactics, but I kind of also want the charm to be upgraded to max, because that's important as hell. Let's max out charm. Right, you're gonna be a very charmful person. And then we're gonna try to get that thing down here. We're gonna wait until nightfall to attack. This is gonna be a rough fight, especially since we are down to 54%. I think I wanna stay here for a little longer. Let's let's have one more day pass and then just deal with the bandits. There are 17 bandits on this. Yeah, it's important that we have another day pass here. Right, let's wait for nightfall. Here we go. We're gonna attack the hideout. We are probably under... Uh, wanted to say under the strength of the enemies. Actually, that's not quite true. 
All right, there's a guy who's already standing up. So they have spotted us. Not good. I mean, these are just mountain bandits at the very least. Kill man. Again, these sea raiders are scary. You know what? Fight me. He fought me. Uh huh. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I should have done it way earlier. Just outnumbering them. That's the way to go about it. Crap. <laughs> no, man. Stay here. Stay with me. Let's see if we can keep the casualties at a minimum. That would be amazing. Ah, oh, and this slow speed. Athletics is super important. I think I should have put something in athletics earlier. Just getting the, the movement speed a bit higher. Alright. At the very least, we can keep the people at the same pace as I'm doing here. Seems that there's only one guy sitting, so... Let's lure him in. My archery skills are the best in the world. I mean, I mean my character and my personal ones. Okay, we charge. Good, that interrupted his attack. Okay, that was really, really good. Actually, let's keep charging, guys. Keep charging. Is there enemies? Oh, there are a bunch of them coming. I will just support you. I hope it wasn't friendly fire. <laughs> yeah, we'll get them down here. It's good. It's really good. Got him? It seems to me like there's just one enemy left and I'll just leave it to my men to do that. You guys are good. You're trained. And yeah, of course, this long pole arm here. It's not good in qu close quarter combat anymore. So maybe having a secondary weapon, like a one-handed weapon for these fights? Why just use my men? I think I just use my men. I want to keep the bow because it's kind of good. I want to keep it trained. I want to just soften up enemies before they arrive. And uh, especially in sieges, it's really good. When the enemies have militia on the walls, they are usually taken down by one or two hits of a bow. And um, if you just get ahead of your army a little bit, and just take down the militia, they cannot really do anything while your men are advancing and trying to climb the walls. So this is usually my, my battle plan here. You will see that later. Oh, I don't fight duels with brigands. Falling back now. One damage. Well damage. Yeah, this is best used on horseback. And we lost the battalion volunteer. That's fine. I'll take the casualties. I'll take the renown as well. And of course the prisoners. Should really think about what I want to do with the prisoners. Another warhorse though. Hell yeah. And more shoulder fur. Congratulations, you just got shoulder fur. As well as a stupid helmet. <laughs> okay. And maybe even the battle axe. It suits you better. Good. I'd say. What? More arm wraps. Boom. There we go. Makeshift kite shield is the best you can get. This is just an amazing amount of leg armor. Um, but it has no body armor at all, so I'm not gonna do that. Also a bit of fish, also a bit of grain, also a bit of leather shoes. I'm okay with that. One renown. Relation is increased! And I don't think that I can take the Sea Raiders. It's not possible. However, this little band of brothers here, why not take them? See, again, Sea Raiders, they give you pretty good loot. Uh, because they are well equipped. And uh, I'm gonna fight them. Death. Also, I got my horse online again. Maybe we just, you know, just drop the horse altogether for the moment. At the same time, I need it in my... I need it in my fight so that I can train the pole arms. I'm really torn. I'm really torn between that. This pole arm deals no damage. Yeah, we really have to use the speed of our horse to get that down. And speaking of down, as I was saying, thrown javelins. Yeah, scary. Anyway, victory is ours. And it's all about the loot that we get here. Let's see. Uh, sea Raiders, we take them. Of course. Uh, we're done here. 
<sighs> layered cloth, layered shoes. Yeah, it was only three of them, so as a result, we don't get that much. Anyway, guys, I'd say we did some jobs today. Um, let me quickly take a look at the quest. Zero days, one thing that I want to try. We have to wait here anyway. We should get our quest done. We should get our criminal back in a second. At the start of this day here, maybe. And then we're gonna go for Illicit Sour Wines quest. And I want to see if I can send my criminal to fence the stolen goods without any negative backlash. That would be so good. Come on. Let's try this. There we go. That's the clothier. What was that? That was a tour tip that I couldn't see quickly enough. Ooh, we have a war horse. Yeah, I want more horsemen, honestly. It's gonna be really good. Gallant. Sure, upgraded to a knight now. Train archers. Here's the thing. These archers are really, really good on horseback. I have enough crossbowmen from the Vlandian, so the Imperial guys... Oh my god, he was naked. He was like Ken-style naked. Where's your Barbie, buddy? Recruiting some criminals here, why not? Alright, just uh, stocking up my troops. Ah, that's why not. I mean, we can drop some recruits for that. It's fine. Cool, so we stop waiting now. We're gonna talk to... Illicit sour wine, and we're gonna see if we're gonna accept her quest by using our criminal. Do that. Hi. Nice pigtails. I heard you have a problem with some qu uh, with some with some questions. I can say that I'm interested. Ha. Huh. Okay. So I have to do it myself. Right. What what about now? What happens now? Uh, one of the merchants in the town comes to talk to you as you are preparing to depart. Um, yeah, hold on there. These goods were taken from a colleague of mine. You probably didn't know. Oh man, I'd be happy to take them off of your hands, get them back to the owner, and I can give you 511 dinars as compensation. Refuse, and the authorities will treat you as a criminal. Yeah, I don't want to be a criminal. We got caught here. You can take them. Negative reputation with uh, sour wine, which is okay. But we received 500 dinars for basically doing nothing. I'll take it! Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also support me on Patreon. The link is down below in the description. There are some rewards for you guys. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.